Um, we, we have, uh, we're going to get a search warrant to enter into the house, so we need to enter the house. We're not entering my house without a search warrant. It's the home surveillance video gone viral, showing police officers trying to enter a home on prior drive in Framingham last week with a homeowner demanding to see a search warrant. Either you get out of the way or we're going to kick the door. And I'm going to count to five. One, two, three. Are we going to surrender? Stop. Okay. Stop for a minute. Okay. Open the door. No discussion. Open the door. Once inside, the situation only gets more intense when a dog is seen going towards an officer who appears to throw a punch at the animal. Since the video was posted online, people have been leaving angry messages on the Framingham Police Department's Facebook page. And a woman who claims to be the homeowner started a GoFundMe page to raise money for attorney fees so her family can, quote, fight for their constitutional rights. But according to WCVB legal expert Greg Henning, there are certain situations when police are able to enter a person's home without a search warrant to secure the premises and prevent evidence from being destroyed. We secure the house so that your son's not flushing it down the toilet. According to the search warrant application, officers can conducted surveillance on a home last Wednesday and pulled over a man who lived in the home and admitted to selling marijuana out of the building. After the search warrant was granted, police say they confiscated 20 marijuana plants, 247 grams of marijuana, a roll of medical cannabis stickers, more than $1,700 cash, and eight guns. And both homeowners had a license to carry, which were also confiscated. We've reached out to the homeowners several times but have yet to hear back, and police tell us they have applied for criminal charges. In Framingham, Matt Reed, WCVB.